Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Country Cuz Hump Day Report here. Uh, I've been asked not once or twice, but several times in the last two or three weeks, and I'm zooming y'all in already on the guitar, but I, they've been, I've been asked to do an absolute beginner. And when they say beginner, I'm not sure if they want me to start at uh, uh, the beginning of the creation of the world, or the, or the lap steel, or the beginning of music. But anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to assume that we already know about the beginning of the world and the beginning of the music and how music works. And... Uh, so we're going to move on to the beginning of the lap steel. Well, the lap steel, I'm, uh, from what I know about it, it was uh, developed over in Hawaii as a Hawaiian music, and it was tuned up in something like a C6. But I tuned mine in an open E. Anyway, back to the beginning of the lesson. All right. If you got a, if you if you hadn't bought a lap steel, I'd suggest for a beginner to get a six string. And uh, if you want an eight string, go ahead and get one. But eight string just got a lower and a higher or two lower register notes. But anyway, if you're an absolute beginner, let me go over the lap steel and what you'll need. <laughs> so here we go. First of all, you need a lap steel guitar. All right, you get your lap steel guitar. Second thing you're gonna need is an amplifier. Now, the amplifier used is a PV Viper One, which is, I think I bought it used for about a hundred dollars. I think new they about a hundred and forty. I don't know. They may have gone up now, but it's a great little amp, and uh, I actually took it out to gigs to play it. It's uh. Not a very big amp, very light, but what I like is it's got effects in it. Now, the effects that I use uh, all the time is simple. First one is, of course, reverb. And if, if you've got an amp with no reverb, I'd suggest you go ahead and buy your reverb pedal. But anyway, get you a good amp, but my effects is reverb is the number one effect. Number two effect, believe it or not, is something called compression. And it keeps the low note and the high note from over spiking and overrunning each other. It takes the, the range of your music, pulls it together. And it makes it sound great. Number two effect is a delay, but I use it. If you notice, you barely. Don't hear it much like ding, 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 ding. Now, I do got a, I got some crazy pedals that I could do that with, but that's not what you're going to need. All right, moving on. The second thing you're going to need, and here's another thing. And this is personal preference, your picks. Most people use a thumb pick and two metal picks on their fingers. Use that thumb like that. Now me, I'm a guitar picker, so I use a regular old pick. Now my pick is uh, preferred for lap steel is a uh, the USA nylon done that pick, and it's a 73 millimeter. Now, I use a lighter pick for my guitar, but, but for lap steel, I use that 73 millimeter nylon, and I like a nylon over uh, cellulite because the cellulite gives you a popping sound or clicking sound, and the nylon is kind of like your fingers listen. Uh, that was my pick, and I'm gonna put it down. See, you can't tell a whole lot of difference. And Moving on, 
on number two thing you're gonna need, and that is called a tone bar. I use this one. It used to say Dunlop. That's the one I prefer. But and it don't. You lay your finger right inside that bar like that. Take your next finger right here. Put it in that little slot that's cut out. See, it's got one on top, one on that, and one on the other side. So put your finger in there, and this bar is made out of stainless steel. Put that thing, and then grab this other side right here with your thumb, and you pinch it right there. See how it looks in my hand? All right, these two fingers right here, when I'm teaching everybody, I call them my dragon fingers because I always got them on the, the guitar. Here, I can mute. being said, you're going to need a tuner. Alright, tuners, these is a clamp-on tuner right here I use on the guitar. I do not recommend or do not even like them for lap steel. What I like is a chromatic tuner. This one happens to be a cord. Boss makes one also. You can get them at any of your local music stores. Let me see if I can tune it in and y'all can... means my string is a little bit, well, anyway, there's your E. Most of the time when I tune it, if it goes a little bit on the, on the flat side, which it'd be, this way would be flat, that way would be sharp. If it goes a little on the flat side, and I mean a little bit, I don't mind, but I recommend a chromatic tuner, but because you weighted of your bar, you can actually see how I'm making the string sound different by pushing down. So you got to be careful. Don't, I'm just laying my bar up here when I'm playing. through the parts of the lap steel just in case because I don't know how far back we beginners are going. All right, you're going to have your tuner keys and that's what you tune your strings with using that chromatic tuner. All right, this right here is at the top of the guitar. This is called your nut. All right, your nut is what strings go over and they're raised up off of the fretboard, which is what is down here. All right, these silver lines, and sometimes they don't have no lines, except a little cutout. Sometimes they're painted on. But anyway, they're called frets. Now, frets are very important. When you play in your lap steel, you want your bar to make sure that for every note, and if you're tuned in an open G, the third fret is a G. And you got to lay that bar this part right here, right dead on top of that fret. You don't want it. You don't want it back here. Hear how much difference it makes. Now you see me when I play it. my voicing and slide in or I slide out. right there. 
Okay, with that being said, we're gonna move on. And this, like I said, absolute beginner. This particular guitar has got something that I don't use. It's got a tone and a volume knob. Now, another thing I'm gonna recommend if you're gonna play steel guitar, lap steel, pedal steel, get you a good volume pedal. I use uh, two or three different kinds, but I like the Dunlap. Uh, volume pedal that is what I call manual. It don't have to be plugged into uh, the 9 volt battery because I do got a Mallory digital uh, pedal I use on my pedal board but you have to plug it up to a battery. When I go out and play out from my studio here I take the non digital analog one because it's got a pot round pot just like in this guitar inside it it's got a little chain on it matter of fact when I first bought the pedal I didn't have it a week the chain broke but I'll take it back to the music store and they called Dunlap and they sent them another chain and boom in another week it was fixed and I was back playing no problem they even loaned me a pedal till they got my chain so I didn't have no downtime. All right, moving on, and the volume knob and the tone knob is not important to me because I can set the volume with the volume pedal. I can set the tone with my amp, and I don't go necessarily moving my tone around because I can actually, if I want to play like a rhythm tone, usually I use these top strings. some lead play. Alright, so anyway, uh, that's why I don't worry about my tone. I got my low tone and I got my high tone. And then, of course, sometimes I race across to catch all the tones. Anyway, with that being said, moving on, down the line. Of course, this is a cord you plug into your amp. Uh, so that, if you had a, a volume pedal, you would plug this from your guitar to your volume pedal, run it out of the other side of your volume pedal to the amp. Or plug this into where it says input, the output goes out to the amp. Simple. Alright, this is a bridge on the back of the guitar. Now you can call it a bridge or you could call it a saddle. It it don't matter, but it's actually both. And of course your pickup is right here, which you, you're gonna get that anyway with your guitar. But now whenever I'm buying, I do like these adjustable bridges. See that? got all them little screws in it and all that right up here on the top. I can adjust it and get it where whenever I lay my bar across it lightly like this right here. I get a, it, it, the strings are flat like that because your bar is flat. Now on the guitar you got them rounded arc shape because it's the contour of the neck. But on the last steel Thing. You that string buzz. That's why I use them dragon fire. All right. So then, of course, the back of the guitar is the back of the guitar, and this it can be any configuration, any shape. I've got one that's shaped like a little guitar. It's a recording king. I forgot what this one is. I've uh, done a lot of work on this. It was an old one that I got from a friend. All right. So that is pretty much the beginner. Now you're gonna have. I've got my frets labeled off one through twenty here for one reason and one reason only, and that's when I'm teaching a student. I used to not have numbered, and I'd go 
and they'd have to say, well, what fret did you go to? Well, by a number of my, they can see that I've slid in from two. Then go up to number five. And then this is called a slide in. This is called a slide out. Uh, this is called vibrato. I'm not going to get into all the slants and stuff because that's said a more advanced lesson, but, but the beginner, you need to know to keep the bar down on your, uh, over your fret, keep your fingers at all times. I don't care where you play it, or unless, even when I'm playing. If you watch, I put that finger down there for Because you don't Here how it's got it to the seventh fret and slide to the eighth fret. Same thing, start up. Then go to the ninth fret and slide up to the tenth. Then go. Ja 
jump and bang forth on the second, the third, and the second string. That's a slide out. The third fret is a, a G note. The eighth fret is your C note. Tenth fret is a D. If you notice, when I'm going up to that C, I'll pause at the 5th and the 7th fret. Because it, it, sometimes you might want it to sound like this. somebody out there in the beginner lesson. I wish you was here today with me where you could ask your question that's in your mind now. Like, what did you do? When did you do? How did you do? Or whatever. But anyway, that, that was an absolute beginner lesson at the beginning of the lesson. And of course, I told you the parts of the guitar. Remember, you got the body, you got the fretboard, and you got the frets. Lay your bar on top of the fret. You got the nut at the top, and you got the uh, bridge or the saddle at the back, and then you got the pickup back there. You may have a humbugger. This has got a single coil in it. I've got one with a P90 in it. I've got one with a humbugger. guitar. I can play uh, blues, gospel, rock and roll, southern rock, country. Uh, it's used mostly in country. Hawaiian music. And then you got many, many, many tunings out there. And a lot of the professional guitar players, steel guitar left, they got their own tuning. Trust me, there's not a standard tuning. I use Oak Me to teach because Oak Me is a good one if you're coming off from a guitar because your frets is the same on here with Oak Me as it is in your standard E tuning, which is actually an A on a guitar. Uh, that's an E. If you strum a regular tune, standard guitar, and down like that, you get some type of an A. I don't know where this A sus or A suspended, but anyway, that concludes our lesson for today. I want to thank y'all for stopping by. If you like the lesson, give me a thumbs up and let me know. And if you want to ask a question about 
something let me know we'll, we'll uh, go over it in the next video I hope y'all have a great week we had a bad storm through here last night and down on Highway 90 here which is a road uh, just south of me uh, the sheriff's department showed pictures this morning about 8 or 10 telephone poles with the wire still intact was blowed into the highway so Highway 90 is closed right now because it broke all the poles off I don't know if it was a tornado or a straight line wind went through there uh, it's early here so nobody's assessed the damage to see what happened uh, there's no damage here where I live on the north side so we safe and sound I hope y'all are too and I hope you have a great week out there this week country cuss see y'all uh, later